She was a proud ship, quite state-of-the-art for her day. With the latest technology in steam engines and first-class accommodations, she was a highly sought-after mode of transport between England and the West Indies. On the morning of 29 October 1867, she was anchored off Peter Island in calm waters under clear skies. Shortly after noon, she was gone. Welcome once again to the Caribbean Sea. Paul Cater Deaton's my name. This expedition takes us to the British Virgin Islands and the wreck of the RMS Rhone. We board the dive boat at Belongo Bay in St. Thomas in the U.S. Virgin Islands for the two-hour boat ride to Road Harbor Tortola. We'll clear customs there to formalize our stay in the BVI. Captain Scott Witter is at the helm. He will serve as team leader for most of our Rhone dives, and his colleague, Captain Steve Foreman, will lead some as well. Our course takes us into Pillsbury Sound between St. Thomas and St. John. We cruise by Virgin Islands National Park headquarters on St. John, take a leisurely turn through Cruise Bay, then into the Sir Francis Drake Channel. One of the more well-known passages in the Spanish Main, this is where the buccaneers used to go to work, but more about them later. Right now, we're passing Keneal Bay, which captures our attention for a while. Once the site of a sugar plantation, it is now an idyllic resort, and the sugar mill, now in ruins, has become part of a lavish tropical landscape. Continuing along the St. John coastline, we pass between the cliffs of Mary Point and Whistling Key, where this little fixer-upper is all that's left of the old Danish customs house. We are now in British waters, course set for Tortola. Along the way, we are regaled by tales of pirates and privateers who used to ply these waters with impunity, to the east is the island of Dead Chest, so-called because it reminded mariners of a coffin. Legend has it that Captain Blackbeard would maroon sailors there with a cutlass and a cask of rum. Survivors were offered a place on his crew. Talk about your brutal job interviews. On Tortola, all roads lead to town. Road town, that is, the capital of the British Virgin Islands. Scott will meet with BVI Customs and Immigration, giving the rest of us a chance to have a look at this charming harbor town.